And to Washington now, where Democrats are intensifying their investigation of President Trump. The House Judiciary Committee will officially request documents from more than 60 Trump associates this morning seeking evidence of corruption, abuse of power, and obstruction of justice. Our Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas has all the details. Good morning, Pierre. George, good morning. The battle lines are being drawn between President Trump and House investigators, and the potential for legal and political confrontation is high, perhaps even imminent. This morning, congressional investigators are pursuing the president and the White House on new and multiple fronts. The chairman of the House Judiciary Committee telling George on this week his committee will be demanding documents today from more than 60 current and former officials of the Trump administration, his family, and related companies and charities. From the White House uh, to the D Department of Justice, Donald Trump Jr., Alan Weisselberg, uh, to begin the investigations to present the case to the American people about, uh, about obstruction of justice, uh, corruption, and uh, uh, abuse of power. So do you think the president obstructed justice? Yes, I do. President Trump over the weekend in a gathering of conservatives blasting House Democrats on how they plan to use their new oversight powers. There's no collusion. So now they go and morph into, let's inspect every deal he's ever done. We're going to go into his finances. We're going to check his deals. We're going to check. These people are sick. Today, the president also facing an inquiry into how his son-in-law allegedly got a top secret security clearance over the objections of career intelligence officials and the White House counsel's office. In your view, even though the president has the right to give a security clearance to anyone he wants to give it to, was that an abuse of power? Yes, I think it was an abuse of power. Look, the president has a right to do a lot of things, but he can abuse his power in doing that. House Government Oversight Chairman Elijah Cummings issuing a not-so-veiled threat of subpoena if he does not get those documents about Kushner today. All this as the president's former attorney, Michael Cohen, is expected back on the Hill Wednesday and as we wait for Robert Mueller to finish his report, George. Many fronts opening up right now. Okay, Pierre. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.